Um, the Texans and Seahawks have some competition, gentlemen, if they're wanting to uh, have the number one overall pick for a quarterback. And maybe this team doesn't go quarterback next year. But it's been, it's been a terrible camp for the Chicago Bears. I told you that the early returns were terrible, and they've just kept going. Well, now it's, it's injuries. Um, Roquan Smith, uh, Rappaport reports that Roquan Smith is not participating in training camp because of his contract situation. You have uh, offensive coordinator uh, Luke Getze saying to reporters, we're still a ways away for a lot of positions, to be honest with you, and that's one of them talking about the, the offensive line. When he's not happy with their offensive line. Tevin Jenkins, their tackle, has missed several practices at right tackle. Um, five straight as of last week, and that probably went on, although I haven't seen an update on his status. They also have a guard, uh, Lucas Patrick, who's been banged up. It is not, it's not good for Chicago. On, on top of that, they have, uh, you know, they've had arrests. They had, um, what, three arrests, I believe, this, this summer. Their wide receiver, Moore, was arrested. They had linebacker Mac, Matt Adams arrested for a gun possession. And then uh, their new receiver, Pringle, from Kansas City as well. It's just one of those teams that can't clean itself up. Yeah. And then you just keep waiting. There'll be something else there. It's always, it's not fickle that, a quarterback doesn't make it, but sometimes it is. Like, I think about Justin Fields, who I like coming out of the draft, and you want to go as high as possible, but you also want to get in the right spot. But what really matters is getting in the right spot if you're a quarterback where your career can flourish. It's on the quarterback also, absolutely. I'm not sitting here claiming that you're just a victim of circumstance wherever you go, and it's all about where you're drafted. But in some cases, when you fail... It can be all about where you're drafted. And this looks like a failing proposition right now for Justin Fields and the Bears. They've done nothing to help him. They are in disarray right now. Unless they show me something completely unexpected, Justin Fields is going to be a backup in the NFL very quickly. And it may be in large part because he was dealt an awful hand by the franchise that drafted him. Well, I mean, consider four years ago, it, it, it was a nail in the coffin for you if you were anywhere close to the Cincinnati Bengals. Yes. And Joe Burrow, you know, it was, it was talked about, where, would you rather be Cincinnati or Jacksonville? Like, where, where, and Cincinnati ends up with the pick. He's, he's ending up playing for Cincinnati instead of a, another organization. And what did Cincinnati do? They, instead of drafting left tackle in his second year, they went and drafted Jamar Chase. His college teammate, too. And they went on a tear. And on top of that, they... They brought in T. Higgins, late uh, second or third round pick, right? And then um, uh, on top of that, now they've stacked offensive line in the mix. And they, they've gone through the free agent uh, market to revamp the right side of their offensive line. So they've done it in stages to where they've allowed their quarterback to grow and flourish. 